Hey everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you join in my progress in the one page at a time. This video will cover October 21st through the 31st, 2020. If you aren't already aware or you missed a video in this series, I have an entire playlist dedicated to my progress in this book, so check it out if you're interested and let's go ahead and get started. Beginning on the 21st, the prompt says to give yourself a pep talk, so I decided to use some lettering from the Squeeze the Day Print and Pray kit from Illustrated Faith and line the page with some watermelon washi tape. It was a pretty simple prompt, but I really enjoy how this page turned out. On the next page, it asks you about soulmates, and I thought this was super cheesy, and I felt really cheesy that day, so I chose to use this Mickey Love hand scrapbook paper to write down my thoughts on it. Underneath it, I used a sheet from an old post-it note pad and then decorated the top and bottom of the page with washi tape that I thought coordinated well with the theme. On the opposite side, I decorated the background of the page in some old post-it notes and then answered the prompt using a pink mini list pad. This prompt was yet again really simple and really easy to do, but I thought it was super cute and it turned out really nice. Every three months or so, the one page at a time has a quarterly check-in and it asks pretty much the same questions, and I had a lot of fun reflecting on the last three months of my progress in this book, and so for that I decided to use this really awesome, fun, girl-style washi tape to add some color to the page, and the colors that I use to decorate the background, I based it off of the washi tape itself using gelato pastels in blue, purple, and pink for the outside, and then green for the inside. Then I just followed the rest of the prompt and filled out the little circles on the inside of the page. On the opposite side was a really fun prompt and I enjoyed making it a lot. It made me think of kind of what I do when or if I sit down in the shower, so I kind of based this whole page off that feeling to kind of guide me through. On the page I drew this girl sitting down and I colored her in with some Winsor Newton Pro markers and then her shirt I used some teal blue washi tape and I took a few shades of blue crayon and dragged it across the page to kind of make it look like rain or water and then wrote the it's not it's okay not to be okay and your feelings are valid and with a lettering stencil and I thought it was just a really fun page to do. Because the previous page was so sad, I really wanted to make this page to be super encouraging and happy, and I thought that this was a really nice way to use some of this washi tape that I have that says, hey pretty lady, all over it. I thought this lipstick washi would go really well with it, so I decided to base the whole page off of just confidence, because I think that's the beauty secret that everyone has is confidence, and if you're confident, then everything else will show through. I used a post-it note pad for the bluish uh, pink ombre look all around the page. And then uh, once again I used that washi tape that I got from Amazon. I also did some gold lettering stickers across the page that said confidence. And then uh, in an old magazine I had this girl who looked pretty like chill and happy. So I cut her out and put her on the page to kind of represent the whole theme. For the future pet names page, this was one of those pages that was really fun to do. I had a ton of just random pet stickers that I thought would just fit really well with it. So some of these are names that I actually had as a child. Um, and some of them are just things that I really wanted to name some of pets that I would have in the future. So I have different kinds of pets, different kinds of animals on here. And then I used some washi tape the same set that I got from Amazon. I use that for the top and bottom of the page. For the different stickers all over the page, they are randomly from different places. Some are from Dollar Tree, some are from uh, Michael's, and some are from Hobby Lobby. This prompt was actually really, really fun to do. It was basically just saying that there's always going to be pizza. So I went through all of my loose scrapbook pages and I found this kind of napkin themed scrapbook paper and I thought it would be really cute to use as a background for the page. So I cut it down to size and glued it on. And then I have this really weird food themed washi tape, again a random find from Michaels, and I covered the top and bottom of the page with that washi tape and then found a bunch of just pizza stickers from random sticker books 
to kind of decorate the page with. On the opposite page, it asks you to write an inspirational quote and then share it online. And of course I did this. I've put it on my Instagram page. If you guys are not following me there, I highly recommend it. I post a lot of content on there, not just one page at a time. For the inspirational quotes, I had this really huge book of just random clear sticker quotes and I picked out my favorites and threw them on the page uh, on top of this like honeycomb themed pink scrapbook paper and I thought it would fit really nice with the whole um, inspiration because pink is my favorite color so I thought it would be really pretty to do. So on the 30th of October, it asks you to draw a layer of cake and describe each layer. And I really didn't feel like drawing a cake for some reason that day. So I chose a cake from a scrapbook page and just wrote what was the layers on that specific cake. I did draw the table on the bottom that it's standing on in with just a random piece of paper that looked like wood. And then from leftovers, I took some of these like frame kind of pictures on the same sticker pack and outlined that in some more of that wood scrapbook paper. And then for the background, it's just some random washi tape that I thought would look really cute. On the opposite page, I don't remember what the old prompt was. I think it was one of those like, uh, give this page away or something and I didn't feel like doing that. So I covered it in this um, Halloween uh, paper and I actually got this from my dog's bark box and he loves those so much and so each box is a theme for each month so October was Halloween theme so I thought it would be a really cute way to incorporate Halloween into my book. So like I said I just took a piece of that box and cut it down to size and put it on the page and then to make it a Halloween themed page I wrote Happy Halloween in with a Posca paint pen in orange. Thank you guys so much for watching the third part in October 2020 and my one page at a time. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know what you guys like and what you don't like. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with me on this series and all of the other videos I post. I post a lot of different content from polymer clay to art prompt books to planners, so I have a lot of different kinds of videos to keep you entertained and to keep you on your toes. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and until next time, craft on! Bye guys!